everybody and welcome back to War Thunder. In today's video I'm going to be talking about some really cool rumors I've managed to round up and things that I picked out of the recent issue from the War Thunder Community Magazine number 2. Which by the way, if you haven't actually read the magazine yet, I'm going to include a link in the description box below so you guys can go check out the magazine. It's really nice to read if you're really into War Thunder because you can download it as a PDF, read it while you're on the bus or the train, anytime in your leisure or your free time. It goes over a lot of cool things including tips and tricks, gameplay mechanics, recommendations of lineups for aircraft or tanks, interviews, just general things like that, even history and real life stories as well. So while I was reading through the issue, I picked out a number of things I want to talk about with you guys, and I'm going to talk about them in sequential order of when I picked them out. The first thing that I noticed was they were talking about the 1.47 dev server and the patch that's going to be coming out. And they were talking about with the new addition of binoculars and drivers hatch views, which I've showed you guys in my previous video of the 1.47 dev server. However, they mentioned a little tidbit which was really nice. In parentheses, they said, seems like a major overhaul is heading the simulator tank battles way. That sounds absolutely awesome. You might find that a little bit strange coming from per a person who just plays arcade battles. However, I've recently started getting into the events that have been entailing the combined arms of realistic battles and also simulator battles. I've played both of them. And whilst I was playing the simulator battles event, I was thinking to myself, this would be so cool if you were locked inside the tank, as in you had to drive around using the driver's view and then when you wanted to shoot somebody then you have to switch to the turret view and if you want to look around then you use the binoculars that would be so cool to do something like that and it looks like apparently maybe speculation that might actually be happening so another thing i mentioned was they include interviews inside the magazine and this time they interviewed a developer from Gai Jin, and one person asked because there's so few attackers in the game at the moment, this is to do with aircraft, will there be any coming out in 1.47? Now, the guy said, I can't promise anything in the 1.47 update, but for example, we're working on an extended lineup for the Junkers 88. There will be several attacker versions, including one with the 75mm cannon. Exciting news for people that are looking for more with attacker aircraft. And just doing a simple... Wikipedia search of the Junkers 88 shows you a huge list of all the different variants for the Junkers 88. I would not doubt if we see some of these variants, or maybe even all of them, come out in War Thunder sooner or later. That 75mm cannon variant looks like that's going to be the Junkers 88 P1. However, although it's exciting, I'm not too excited about it because knowing the current state of planes with 75mm cannons or something similar of that caliber in the game currently, they don't do a lot right now. Another question was, will we be seeing bomber cockpits anytime soon? Which ones will come first? This is a question that has been burning in the minds of many people for I don't even know how long I can tell you, since I started playing the game two years ago, back in 1.27, people have been asking this for ages. When are we going to get cockpit view within bombers? The developer said, most probably we'll reveal something new in the next few months. Maybe IL-28 will be the one of the first. There you go guys. Apparently within the next few months there might be bomber cockpits. Although it's likely that not all of them are going to get cockpits straight away. He said the IL-28 will be one of the first. So I imagine they're going to probably do it like a lot of features that they introduce. They're going to do it sequentially, sort of like the canopies that open up. They did it only on certain planes. And I imagine that this is going to happen with bomber cockpits first so that they can fully develop it, get the cameras in the right angle, make sure all the details are correct within the bomber cockpit, and then they'll release it. When can we expect the Fleet Air Arms line of aircraft? I can't state any dates, but the Fleet Air Arm is one of our priorities right now. When we're done, there will be a whole naval line on all tiers of the British research tree, from biplanes to jets. That sounds absolutely awesome. It means 
new planes coming out to War Thunder for one, but also specifically for the fleet air arm for the British. That means it's probably going to look a whole lot like the naval line for the Americans, where right from Tier 1 all the way to Tier 5 are planes specifically for the fleet air arm. Now, just doing a quick Wikipedia search, Wikipedia has this really nice table where you can organize planes to the year that they were released, specifically for the fleet air arm, and you can get an idea of what planes might potentially come out in War Thunder, like the Fairy Barracuda, the Blackburn Firebrand, there are plenty that might come out. What do you think is going to come out? Finally, when can we expect to see an Italian release tree for War Thunder, and roughly how many aircraft will it feature? At the moment, we're planning the minimum number of aircraft that we need for a separate Italian nation. It will consist of fighters and bombers with several premium aircraft. We are also checking if we have enough material to start working on some new models. We'll be ready to show Italian release tree not earlier than Q2 2015. That's right, everybody. You heard it here first if you haven't read the magazine. A new tree, a whole new nation is coming to War Thunder not earlier than Q2 2015, where it's going to be previewed. That's going to be the Italian tree, new fighters, new bombers, and what's really, really cool, I'm going to provide all the links to Wikipedia that I'm talking about in this video. Again, Wikipedia states tons of different planes that the Italians had available to them right on throughout the decades, whether that's fighters, attackers, bombers, you guys can go on this link and just take a look at all the numerous planes that the Italians had available to them. I'm getting really excited guys. I love new stuff coming to the game. I'm sure you guys as well. And this is where I end the video because that pretty much summarizes all the rumors and all the things that I picked out of the magazine. All the tidbits. Now, if you aren't hyped, I don't know what to say, but I want to ask you guys, what are you most looking forward to? What planes are you excited? to see in War Thunder. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next one, this is Krebs, and I'll catch you guys next time.